After spending the night on our first ever sleeper train to Da Nang, we spent a week relaxing on the beach and taking a break from vlogging before heading to our next destination, Hoi An. Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Hoi An is an old trading port that attracted many people from different countries and today reflects its history of both foreign and indigenous cultures. We'll be exploring the old town, famous for its coloured lanterns, temples, stunning architecture and, with over 200 tailors, I'll be getting some custom clothing made. Since coming to Vietnam, we keep seeing people wearing matching clothes, like couples wearing matching shirts and dresses. And we've seen it in Hanoi, we saw it in Cat Bar Island, and we've seen it here. And I've been really on the fence about us getting it, but since we're in Hoi An, I am going to get us some matching clothes. So we got a shirt and a small dress, which we both quite like, and we paid 620,000 for it, which is about 20 pounds, which was definitely way too much. I think we probably should have paid less than half that, but we're really bad at haggling. But it's fine, we like them, and it's fine. <laughs> the thing is that if we were back home and I was paying 20 pounds for a shirt and a dress, I'd be like, yeah, bargain. But just out here, I'm like, oh, I feel like I've been ripped off. <laughs> All the boats are showing up ready for the night time. Our plan is to go on one of these boats for night time because they have lanterns on them, so it's all pretty and lit up. And you can get lanterns that you then float along the river. But I'm a bit torn about doing that because I feel like they end up just being washed ashore and it's just unnecessary littering. I don't know. boat ride cost us 150,000 dong. It's actually a lot more peaceful than you would expect. It looks very chaotic when you're stood on the bank watching the river but when you're there you're kind of engrossed in it and there's all the pretty lanterns and the lanterns floating past you which we found out are people's wishes. So they make a wish and then set their lantern off which is really cute but yeah it was a really nice time. When we checked in yesterday, the lady who's running our hostel was super duper friendly and she gave us this survival kit for Hoi An which had tons of information in about like the local points of interest where you can take a cookery class, where you can take a lantern making class, things like that. She also recommended a tailor to us because one of the big things to do here is to get your clothes tailored. 
So we're gonna go ahead and do that today um, because the shirt and the dress that we bought yesterday were just from a shop. And we think it'd be really cool to have some made to measure clothes. It's incredible how quickly we've fallen in love with Hoi An. Like with the river running through it and the lanterns that lit up, it's just so beautiful, especially at night. It's crazy how much quieter it is in the daytime than it is at the nighttime here. We went to the tailor that our hostel recommended and I had a very specific idea of what I wanted in mind. So I wanted like a loose fitting linen shirt and shorts. And the tailor said, yeah, that's fine, but it would be about 50 to 60 pounds, which was a bit out of our price range. Um, although I'm sure like it would have been really good quality, but unfortunately it's just not in the budget for us. So we decided to go and get some juice and have a look at TikTok and find other tailors that were pretty decent based on TikTok reviews. We found one and they were happy to do it for £30, which is much more in line with our budget. So I picked the fabric and then they took my measurements, we paid and then we've got to go back tomorrow to have them buy first fitting. It's our last day in Hoi An today because tomorrow we're heading to Dalat. But first, we need to go back to the tailor because I need to go and try on my outfit. I'm actually so happy with this, how this turned out. Like, it's really well made and it's double lined so it's not even a tiny bit see-through even though it's a really light colour. And it even has pockets. So it's also double lined, which means it's not see-through at all. This is Ban Trang. It's Vietnamese pizza. So you have your fillings, but it's on grilled rice paper and I got mine with cheese, which I was very pleasantly surprised to find out is a Derrily cheese triangle. So good. Mine's with chicken. So good. Mm. This actually isn't the first time that we've had these. We went to the same lady yesterday and she recognised us today. <laughs> We went to the hostel. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> so 
sorry, I didn't put that onion around my tooth. Ew. <laughs> Tomorrow we're heading to Dalat, but first we've got to go and back to what? That boat ride cost us 150,000 dong each. Let me do that again. It wasn't each, it was for the two of us. <laughs> yeah. 